Okay, so here's the deal. You know, I've called out TMZ over the years for the garbage that they've done. You know, there have been times where TMZ has done things that I just cannot personally agree with. You know, I've called them out for being racist, among other things. You know, there's just certain ways that they operate that I, I just can't always agree with. I think that they're a good news site when it comes to some things, like keeping us up to date with a lot of stuff, and especially in the so-called urban world, which just means black. It's just cold word. But they posted something on their website recently that really pissed me off. They posted the video of this guy, Steve Stevens, aiming and firing, discharging a pistol at an elderly man, mortally, fatally wounding him. And why T? I, I don't ever remember in the history of TMZ them ever posting someone losing their life on their website. If they've ever done that before, somebody, please, especially not by gunfire at point blank range. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Why would they show something like that? What would be the point? There was no warning either except for the warning graphic content, the horrific video message, but they didn't explain like this is why we're posting this because we want to bring awareness or we want to show the severity of the situation. We don't want to sugarcoat things. There was no warning like that, like explaining why they would post some filth like that on their website. And it really bothers me that they did that. I did not embed the video on my site. I did post the link to the article that I'm going to read to you. Actually, I'm going to read two articles to you. But I did not post that video on my blog for a reason. Because basically out of respect for the elderly man who lost his life and out of respect for his family. But anyways, let me go ahead and read to you what Team Z wrote. Now, the first article was posted April 17 of 2017. Actually, both of them were posted April 17. The first one is titled Facebook Murderer Manhunt Expands to Pennsylvania and Beyond cell phone reportedly pings yeah if they wanted to find him by now they would have just for the record it pings all right it's pinging me that they didn't get this guy yet team z writes steve stevens the alleged wow they actually referred to a black man who committed a crime as alleged wow i damn step your game up why don't you steve stevens the alleged facebook killer is on the move and his cell phone might have given up his location to cops. Stevens phone pinged near Erie, Pennsylvania, according to a report, which will put him about 100 miles east of Cleveland. He's been charged with aggravated murder after killing 74 year old Robert Goodwin Sunday in Cleveland and uploading video of the fatal shooting. The manhunts now expanded to five states. Cleveland authorities say Steven could still be in Ohio or on the run in Pennsylvania, New York, Indiana, or Michigan. In a separate Facebook video that has since been taken down, Stevens claims to have killed more than 10 people, but authorities have no knowledge of any other victims. He reportedly told his mother he was killing because he's mad at his girlfriend. Yeah, pussy whipped ass simp. Anyways, and I hate to say that, but uh, that's, that's, he's, he's such a sucker. He, I think he even referred to what he's doing as some sucker shit. Like, no, I normally I wouldn't do no sucker shit, but uh, I snapped. You should have snapped your own neck, sir. Bastard. Anyways, on to the other story. The next story is titled Facebook Killer. Cops now offering $50,000 reward. Here's what Teams he wrote. Police are going all out to locate Facebook killer Steve Stevens, including offering a huge reward. Cleveland Police Chief... Calvin Williams just announced the $50,000 reward for any information leading to Stevens' arrest. The reward comes on the heels of police saying the manhunt now covers up to five states, the ATF, alcohol, tobacco, and firearms, FBI, Federal Bureau of Investigation, and Crime Stoppers are all chipping in to cover the reward. Chief Williams is still imploring Stevens to turn himself in or at least contact a friend or relative. Stevens shot and killed 74-year-old Roger Goodwin Sr. Sunday in Cleveland, then uploaded video of the murder. <sighs> this motherfucker. You know what's so sad about it? If this fool actually survived, well, I, I, I doubt that 
he's going to survive the police once they get to him. I seriously doubt that. But let's say he survives, right? And he's arrested. Do you know how many black female prison guards will love to be impregnated by him? I, now, now I, know, I know what you guys are saying. Like, really, Me Magazine, are you really going to say that at a time like this? Oh, oh, oh yes, I am. Oh, oh, yes, I am. Because here's the thing, though. There's a lot of people who are going to act as if they're so against what this guy did. You have a lot of people. And I got to say, that actually, there's two things I'm going to point out to you guys. Number one, there's people who celebrate murder and death every day. You know, you, you love music and movies that depict people being murdered. You love to hear these stories. How the thugs live and worry. Duck down the car seats. Heat mandatory. I'm sorry, that's a Nas song. Okay, but anyways, here's the thing, my Jesus. You guys think that it's okay to sit up there and watch a movie with people just dying everywhere, getting their brains blown out, and you've been so desensitized to violence that was somebody you know, could be somebody your family, it could be a quote unquote friend. I don't know why you would befriend somebody like this, like what I'm about to tell you. But it'll be somebody who's close enough to you that you can do something about it. You'll hear that they killed somebody or you'll know that they killed somebody. And you'll just say, well, that's none of my business or I don't care. There's people listening to this right now that live somewhere where somebody pretty close. It might be the person you're laying in the bed with. Has done the same thing, possibly worse. And you're not going to say a damn thing about it because you don't care. It wasn't you. It wasn't your life. Right? There's some woman right now with a man who's done the same thing. Who's listening to this. And that man lives with her. She knows he's a killer. Maybe even a serial killer. Is she going to contact the police? Is she going to turn him in? No, 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 no. She's not worried about that. Now, if he, if he does something to her, then she will call the police. Like if he hits her or something like that. But as long as that doesn't happen, they don't care. Okay. Let me, let me, let me say something to you guys. Okay? Actually, yeah. Matter of fact, two more things. I wouldn't be surprised at this guy's former military. I mean, the fact that he can kill so callously, just, just so, so casually, just like, it's, it's just such a normal thing. Makes me think that he's maybe done this before. I don't know. And one of the things that sticks out to me is. Was the gun registered or was this an illegal firearm? Did he steal the firearm? Was it one that he owned? Like, I really would love to know that information. That definitely has me thinking because I, I would hate for people who don't do stupid things like this to have their firearms taken away. And this is be used as an excuse or one of the excuses. Well, look at all these people who have done all these illegal things. You know, usually when people commit homicides is usually with a handgun it's usually with an illegal handgun it's usually not a registered legal gun they usually stole it or something like that it's not or, or the, you know the person's not supposed to be in possession of it in the first place some felon or something like that they're not you know they're they're not legally supposed to be in possession of a firearm in the first damn place but let me tell you guys something right now my jesus i'm gonna say something i haven't heard anybody say about it because you know i listened to a little bit of what other people had to say about this particular case but something that was not pointed out other than the fact that people know people like this and, and they're not saying anything. These people have killed people and they're like, well, I like so-and-so. He's nice to me, so he can murder all the people he wants. It's not like he murders people all the time. And stuff like that. Here's the thing, man. I've never noticed, rather, I haven't noticed because this just happened like the, yesterday or day before. I haven't noticed anybody mention this. The thing about him going around killing these people or at least killing that one guy that we know of him killing for sure. People aren't pointing out the fact that this guy was crying out. And I'm not trying to say he's some innocent person. I'm not even trying to say that he's a victim. The only thing that I'm saying is this though. Bullying in America is normal. When you're in school, people either sit back and watch it happen. They don't say anything. You know, silence is compliance. People will see it and just basically ignore it because it's, it's not happening to them. Just really selfish just just really selfish people and this is how schools end up getting shot up this is how domestic violence situations happen whether it's a man or a woman attacking each other or a woman attacking a woman or a man attacking a man family violence you know sometimes somebody end up dead or hurt severely all because 
somebody didn't know how to treat other people. Well, really, it's not that people don't know how to treat other people. In most cases, it's just people refuse to treat people the way that they want to be treated, basically. You know, like what does the Bible say? Do unto others as you want them to do to you. That's not verbatim. Yeah, that's something that, you know, you should just know naturally. I mean, if you know that you don't want to be treated badly, then why would you treat other people like like they're nothing? And, you know, it, it's it's really especially hard out here for men like like we're looked at as being disposable. That's why if you notice when he went and targeted that that elderly man, he killed a man. Why didn't he shoot an old woman, for example? You know, usually <laughs> when these people pick their targets, unless they have a vendetta against women specifically, they'll usually pick male victims like Jeffrey Dahmer. You know, when, when you see serial killers, they almost always kill males, usually adult males. And it's because men are looked at as disposable in the society. Men are sent off to war. You know, men are expected to join the police department. Men are expected to break up fights. Like if you see two women fighting or if a woman hits you, you, you grab that woman. Now, you don't strike her back. You know, there's all these like rules to manhood. It's like it's a lot of stress being a man. And I'm not making any excuses for this. This guy, this this target bargain bin Suge Knight. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to make any excuses for this fool. I'm just saying, though, that basically being a man is, is very, very difficult. There's just so many restraints and constraints. It's just crazy. You're just so many rules and things that you're expected to abide by. You're just you're just so restricted. It's like men do so much for society. But and then we get this this hashtag and these news stories and whatnot talking about a day without a woman. How about a day without a man? Men build damn near everything. Can you imagine a day without a man. And then Mother's Day is like the biggest thing. Father's Day is looked at as like nothing. You know, you, you, people are psychologically manipulating to believing that you can never say anything negative about your mother, but throwing your dad under the bus is perfectly okay. Your daddy ain't shit. But you say something about your mama that's fighting words. Come on, you know, like men are looked at as being absolutely nothing in, in America, you know, and then they'll try to guilt you by saying, well, do you want us to be like the Middle East where women get beat on and told that, that they have to cover their bodies from head to toe? Uh huh. Want it to be like that? You know, men get guilted. You know, too much male guilt. But anyways, man, like I said, I'm not making excuses for this guy. I'm just saying that if people really wanted to stop things like this from happening before they happen. Show men some love. Because men aren't really viewed as assets in the society. Well, unless they have money or they're particularly good looking or have a good sexual reputation, unless they have something that women have decided is valuable. But women are automatically considered to be worthy, valuable. Just because they were born female. But anyways, man, this is all my opinion. Like I said, I'm not making excuses for this guy. Oh, that he is caught. Oh, that he serves the rest of his life in jail. That's if this isn't a hoax, because I don't know, man. I, I actually watched a video of him taking that man's life. And it's really shameful if it is true. But one of the things that I noticed is that the gunshot was not very loud. And it's not like he had a silencer or suppressor at the end of the barrel. So I, I thought to myself now that it looked like a Glock. Maybe a Glock 26. I, I don't know. But whatever handgun that was, it did not sound very loud. And, you know, a lot of times, like if you shoot while videotaping with a phone, it might sound muffled or distorted because of the the deplosion, that that loud sound, that explosive sound. It's like, you know, the microphone can't pick up the audio too well because it's just too loud and too close. It's just really weird. So I'm not saying that, you know, that the video is fake. I'm just saying I noticed that it wasn't very loud. But anyways, I hope they catch this bastard and I hope they don't I hope that they don't kill him because people don't really think about it like this. What happens to a person's mind when they kill someone? And you're wishing that somebody will kill him, right? Think about it. If somebody kills him to stop him what will that do to them doesn't that make them a killer too 
imagine the effects that it will have on their mind. So, yeah, I hope that he gets caught, tried and put in jail for the rest of his life. But nope, I, I, I don't wish that he gets killed. Because we don't need another person destroyed from the inside out. But this is all my opinion. What do I know? I am merely a blogger with a microphone. All right. So it's your opinion that matters. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 or Google Plus, Meat Magazine blog on Instagram. Hit the notification button, which is right next to the subscribe button, and let you know when new videos get posted. And I got to ask, man, you know, do you guys think that I think I think they said online that he's a, a so-called Q dog, some sort of fraternity or something, one of those corny little groups? Do you think that him being involved with that crap had anything to do with this at all? Let me know below. Meat Magazine.